Hello. Welcome to this Advanced Steel 2021 tutorial. Today, we are going to add this HE140A horizontal beam. Now turn on the model view L plus 2510 and then activate it. Navigate to Home tab, then select Rolled I Section Tool from Objects Group. In order to choose the start point, we are going to right click on the screen and select Node option from Context menu. Then click on Intersection Point at Grid 1 B to locate the start point. Type 1350 when advanced steel required to locate the endpoint then right click or press enter to show the beam dialog box. Select HEA 140 for the beam section then switch to positioning tab. Select the radio button corresponding to the profile's insertion axis. Now, let's divide the screen into two view ports. Then change the right view port from top to SW isometric view style. And then change the left view port from top view to view from left. The beam now is on elevation 2150. The beam's design level is 140 mm lower than L plus 2510. So go back to the model, then move the beam down 140 mm. But it's still there. Now right click on L plus 2510 on the Workplace tab of Project Explorer and select Detach Elements option, then select the horizontal beam and then select the start and end point of the beam for the geometry point selection. Now let's move the beam down 140 millimeters. Next we are going to add a connection between this horizontal beam and vertical column at grid B and C. We are going to use Moment End Plate tool to create these connections. Now, on Advanced Steel Tool Palette, select Platform Beams Group. Then select Moment End Plate Tool. We are going to select the column at Grid, 1, B, as the main beam, and then select HEA 140 Beam as secondary. In order to handle this join more easier, we are going to create a model view for this joint. Then divide the right view port into two parts. Now right click on any part of this joint and select Advanced Joint Properties from Context menu. Switch to Plate and Bolts tab, then select Plate Layout Group, type 12 as Plate Thickness. In Plate Height Layout field, we select Total Option. Then in 4, Total Start Distance field select Beam Top Option.
in 8 plate height field type 245 as the plate height switch to option 5 layout distance it's the distance between top edge of the plate and top flange the current value is now 75 but the design value is 10 millimeters so that we are going to type 10 into this field Now switch to bolt and holes group. Then select 14.00 option as the bolt's diameter. Now move down to horizontal bolts group. Then type 0 into both 6 and 7. Edge distance, project, field. And then change the 1. Plate layout field to project option. Now switch to vertical bolts group. In 5, outside bolts field select bottom option. Type 35 and 60 into 3, start dist for group 1 and 2 correspondingly. Then type 37 into 9. Start dist field as the distance between the bottom bolt group and the above one. Now back to 3D model and check vertical bolts dimension. Next we are going to create the bottom stiffener plate. Now right click on any part of this joint and select advanced joint properties from context menu. On moment end plate dialog box, navigate to stiffeners tab. and select bottom stiffener group, then check on create bottom stiffener option. As you can see, the bottom stiffener plate is added.
Now we are going to modify it a little bit. Let's type 150 inches to one stiffener length field. Then type 93 into one stiffener height field. Input 15 into 4 corner finish inside. Then select asymmetric option in the corner finish field. Then input 35 as the corner finish outside height and 78 as the corner finish width. Now we are going to copy this beam and its connection from grid 1 to another grids. On Advanced Steel Tool Palette, select Tool Group, then select Advanced Copy Tool. Hit Select Objects button, then select HIA 140 beam and press Enter. Check on Include Additional Connections option, then click on Cursor Mouse Symbol to get the copying distance. Select Start Point at the Grid A and then End Point at Grid B. And then Type 6 as Number of Copies. Finally hit OK to execute the command. Now let's move the original UCS along Y axis 6200 mm. Then we are going to copy these HEI 240 beams and its connection to grid C by mirror tool. Now start the advanced copy tool, then select all the HEI 140 beams. Right click or press enter when finished selecting all beams. Select mirror option, then click on select mirror point. Type 0, 0 for the first point of the mirroring line, then select any point at the line go through 0, 0 point. Hit OK to finish the command. Thank you for watching and see you again.